Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dia. I appreciate you stopping by. Today I'm gonna do a video that has been requested a few times now about what kind of printers I use to print the pictures for my planners and journals. So I thought it was about time to share my thoughts with you on the four printers that I'm currently using. I'm gonna go ahead and start with one that's actually not a portable printer, but it is quite small and it is my favorite printer. It's the Canon Selfie. I have it in the CP1300. This is the second one that I've owned. I had an older version of this and it lasted me years and it finally died on me about six months ago and I went ahead and purchased a new one and I love this one just as much as I love the other one. I know in the past I heard some people had problems with these printers but I never had so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys samples from each of these printers as well. We're gonna go ahead and just start with this one. Like I said this is the Canon Selfie. This one is a I think it's a dye sublimation printer and it does not print on sticker paper. Paper. It comes with the printer itself, it is Bluetooth, and then it comes with a tray that you put the paper in. And let me go ahead and get this going. When you purchase supplies for this printer, I always get mine on Amazon. It comes with these cartridges and a couple of packs of paper. If I remember correctly, you use it's either two or four of these packs per cartridge. I don't remember right now, but this is my favorite printer. Even though it's not sticker paper, it prints really clear, sharp pictures. It's the next best thing to taking my pictures to a lab to get them done, which takes far too long. I do wish they had this in a five by seven, but the papers that it comes with are four by six. And then of course you can put multiple images on one piece of paper and print more than one image on a sheet. And okay, let's see, where's my phone? Sometimes I use pick stitch to put the pictures together if I want more than one on a sheet of paper. But normally if I'm printing something, I'll just use the app that's made for the printer and print something out. I'm gonna print two pictures out for each of these printers. One of them has a lot of blues and sky in it. And then the other one has some black in it because some of my issues with some of these printers is they get very muddy looking. So I'm gonna print these two pictures up and you guys can check out the quality. And there is that one. Okay, and there's the second picture. So these are the two pictures. These are four by sixes, and then they come with this extra little tab that you just rip off. Okay, so let me look at my notes really quick to make sure I tell you everything about this printer. So this is a Bluetooth printer. It prints on this four by six paper. It's dye sublimation, so it has these cartridges. And I feel like this has the best color out of all of my portable printers. And this one's not quite portable because it does have a cord, but it's not huge, honestly. You could take it with you on vacation if you wanted to. I normally don't. I usually will print all my pictures up when I get home from a vacation and then go ahead and put them in my journal. But like I said, this is my favorite. If they could make this technology into one of the smaller portable printers, it would be perfect. And the next printer I'm gonna show you is kind of like this one, but it's still not quite what I'm looking for. Okay, let's set this one aside. Next are my true portable printers. And I just wanted to share this little pencil case that I got from AliExpress. I'll see if I can leave the link for it down below. I tried to find the video where I originally saw this and I could not find it anywhere. I think I ended up getting this for $2 and I was gonna use it to keep all of my stickers in it, but it turns out it fits all of my portable printers in it perfectly. So I'm gonna open it up. Oh, that's the other thing about this thing. 
you would think it opens up that way, but it actually opens up this way. So here's my printers. The next one I'm gonna show you is my Canon Selfie QX10, and this is a square format printer. So see, my other two printers are up here, and then I just keep this one down here with this extra paper, and then I have my plug. It's a handy little bag. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This printer is portable. You don't need to plug it in. It just charges up and it is also a dye sublimation printer. Here's the little paper for them. They're little squares. They look like little Polaroids. And then this is the cartridge. It's a little mini version of the one for that one. This printer checks off just about all my boxes. It has really good color. It's sticker paper. The paper is really thin, so it doesn't bulk up my planner at all. The only thing I wish was different about this printer is that it would print out in the little two by threes, kind of like the Canon IV does. But let's go ahead and show you what this printer looks like. The selfie app is pretty cool because it keeps all of your printers in it. So I just switch over to the square find my images, and then I'm gonna go ahead and print them up. Okay, so here's this one. The only other thing about this paper is that it is a square print. I could shrink this down to make it fit the entire image that it originally was, or you can put multiple pictures on one sheet of paper, but I feel like this paper is so tiny already that when you put more than one image, it's just really tiny. I do like that I can cut off the bottom if I want and not have the Polaroid part, but I'll usually put something down here. And this paper is super, super thin. It's the thinnest paper out of all of these. And it took me a while to realize it, but this is actually sticker paper. I think I saw somebody else do it and I was like, no way, because it's so thin and it's kind of hard to get off. Let me see if I can, oh, there it is, see? so. It's actually sticker paper. And the only other thing about this sticker paper is it's not very strong. I have it on here and it'll kind of peel up. Anything that has texture on it, it doesn't have the best glue to stick to it, but it gets the job done. This is probably, I don't know, I wanna say it's my favorite portable one, but mainly just because of the coloring. The coloring is excellent. Don't love the size. And uh, the printer itself is a little bit big. I'll show you compared to the Canon Ivy. So this is my Canon Ivy. It's quite a bit of a difference. I would so love if this could print this size here. Okay, let's move on to this one. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over. And as you noticed, both of those take about three to four passes before the picture comes out because it layers the color on. These other two printers that I'm going to show you are zinc technology, so they just print it out all at once. Okay, let me turn this one on. Do you guys hear that? There's like something rattling around in here. Even though this isn't my favorite printer, it's probably the one that I gravitate to the most. Well, up until I got a newer printer, which I'll show you in a minute, but I think I gravitate towards this one because I love the size of the pictures and I love that it's sticker paper. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this in a second, but really quick, one of my problems that I have with this printer sometimes is that the paper tends to bow a little and then it won't wanna feed through and come out and print. So I'll have to go in there and kind of bend the paper in the opposite direction, if that makes any sense, to get it to go through. Okay, there is the first image. And there's the 
there's the second image. So for me, this is the perfect size for my journaling. It's quite a bit smaller than this one, but I don't love the quality. This is more like Polaroid kind of quality. It's very dull and muddy, especially with the darker colors, but it gets the job done. I mainly use this one for my quick journaling that I do. So like this one right here. These are done with my bigger Canon and then I just did two up on a page and printed those up. So you can see the quality difference there. Okay, so that's the Canon selfie. This next printer I got from IDPRT and it is comparable to the Canon selfie. It comes with a little pack of 10 papers, just like the Canon selfie does. Those were round stickers, but it comes with the same type of paper. It does, I believe it does the card to, I can't remember. My only issue with this printer is when I first started to try to use it, I had a really hard time getting it to print. It just would not send the paper through for some reason. And where, oh, there's the on button. Oops, why are we red? And my only other issue with it is that this lid pops off really easy. Oh, that's why, I don't have any paper in here. So let's load it with some paper, that's Canon. Oh no, oh no, okay. Thought I was out of paper for a second. So let's go ahead and load this. It does have the little blue paper just like the Canon does. The Canon loads the same way this one does, the Canon Selfie does. So let's go ahead and put that in, pop this back on. Okay, there it goes. So it's sending the little blue card through just like the Canon Selfie does. These two printers are about the same size and I chose both of them in white. They both come in different colors. I think this comes in different colors too. This one was gifted to me and I'm still torn between whether I like this one more than the Canon Ivy. I'm not sure. I'm gonna print up some pictures. The software to this isn't my favorite. I feel like I have a little bit harder of a time connecting to this one Bluetooth wise than I do all the other ones. They connect a little bit faster. Okay, let's test this one. Okay, here we go. This printer has a tendency to cut off the edges a little bit more than my Canon Ivy, not by much. When I was first starting to try and print these, they were coming out the complete wrong size. And my picture was only printing on like half of the paper, but I think it was user error. I think I might've been using the wrong printer inside the app. And after that, they updated their app and I was able to understand it better and find my printer a lot more easily. So I think it might've just kind of been a user error thing, but let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and print up the other picture now, and then we'll compare all of these. Okay. So here's the last image and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and then we'll go ahead and talk about these a little more. Actually, let's go ahead and compare them. So I'm gonna do these two first because they are basically the same printer, different brands, and go ahead and show you the difference between the two images. And then let me show you these two. You can see that the coloring is very different. It's a lot warmer and magenta in the Canon and a lot more green and cool in the IDPRT. Sticker paper wise, I think they both stick really well. Quality that way is pretty much equal. Let's see if I can fit all of these in here so you guys can see all of the comparisons. Okay, here they are all kind of laid out for you so you can see all of them at once. These are the three portable printers and out of the three, I like the print quality of the Canon Square the best, but 
I prefer it in a smaller size, but you can see the picture quality in this one is a whole lot better than these two. And I'm still so torn on which of these two I like better. I think it kind of depends on the picture sometimes because I'm actually a person who leans more towards magenta when I'm editing my pictures, but I feel like these ones are just a little bit muddy, especially in the darker colors, and it just kind of all blends together, and there's not much contrast in the picture. So I, I think I actually prefer the print of this one over the Canon, but it's what you prefer. And of course, this is my absolute favorite. It prints the clearest. I love the paper. I love that I can print it in different sizes. I could print, you know, four of these on here if I wanted to. The only downside is that it's not sticker paper and it's not really portable because you do have to plug it in to use it. Okay guys, so these are all the printers that I use to put pictures in my journals. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and just recap one more time any notes that I took on these printers. The Canon Selfie does need to plug into the wall. It is a little bit larger. I really don't have any complaints about it. I used the one that I had prior to this for years with no problems. It is not sticker paper but it does have really good coloring. For me, it's just as good as getting them done at the lab. And I feel like out of all of these papers, this one lasts the longest. Sometimes when I go back and look at some of my older pictures, I feel like these are still the most vibrant and crisp pictures out of all of them. You can create more than just the four by six size by putting the images together within the selfie program, or you can do an external app like Pick Stitch as well. So this is my favorite printer. I normally won't print up a four by six on it. I usually wait until I get three to four images to put together, and then I go ahead and print them up. I actually forgot that I had this printer for a little while, which is really sad, but the color is just as good as this. It's not quite as vibrant. It is on sticker paper, extremely thin sticker paper, and it doesn't really stick to any surfaces that have texture on them very well. I don't love that it turns everything into a square. You can shrink it down and make it a long picture and then just trim off the excess, but then I feel like the picture is a little bit too small. It's kind of more of a Polaroid feel. Quality-wise, I like this one next, but I don't love the size. Now, my favorite size is the two by three because these ones are just so easy to pull out and print up a picture really quick and stick it in my journal. This is the Canon Ivy and sometimes you can kind of see it here. The paper will bow and bend and it won't feed through. I haven't had much trouble with that lately. I don't know if it's because I live by the beach and there's a lot of moisture here, but I was struggling to get the paper to feed through. So I would kind of have to bend the paper backwards like this and then put it back in and it would finally come through. I don't love the coloring. It can be very muddy, not contrasty, and it does lean towards the magenta warm colors. This is my newest printer and it has kind of replaced my Canon. I noticed that I reach for it a little more. It's IDPRT. My only issue with this printer is that the cover pops off really easily. So if you have this in a bag or something, it might pop off really easy. I struggled with the app that came with this at first, but then they upgraded their app and it's a whole lot easier to use now. It's also on sticker paper, my favorite size, and the colors are a little bit more vibrant and the blacks aren't as dark and non-contrasty and it does print a little bit greener and cooler than this one. I did have a sprocket at one time too, but I bought it from Costco years ago, brought it home, printed like one picture and hated the quality and returned it. But looking back on it, I think it was probably this kind of quality right here. I was just used to this quality. So I kind of want to try uh, an HP sprocket again. Let me know if you guys have one and if you like the quality. 
Okay guys, so that's it. Here's the four printers that I use to print in my journals. If you guys have any questions about them, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll try to answer any questions. I'll also leave links for all four of these printers and I'm gonna go ahead and take pictures of all of this and put it in my blog. So if you wanna kind of look at the pictures on my blog and see them a little more closely and see the comparisons, that'll be there as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from me, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna be notified whenever I post a new video, make sure you hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.